Right, we're asked to solve a pair of simultaneous equations. The problem with this one is that we haven't got one le um, letter equal to something involving the other letter. So I'm actually going to have to um, uh, substitute this one and rearrange this one. And I'm going to get a rearrange it to make x equals something. That's because the y is squared in the other equation. So I'm going to have 5 minus 3 over 2 y's. Okay, now whilst that's not very nice, it's probably nicer than having to square um, some of two thirds, all right? Which is again not horrible, but I reckon it will. This will be nicer. Now I'm going to substitute this here, um, okay? This here into uh, into this equation here. So we're going to get uh, y squared plus four lots of. 5 minus 3 over 2y equals 12. So all I've done is because this says that x equals this, wherever I've seen x in that equation, I've swapped um, what I've got there, what I've rearranged. So now I'm going to multiply out and you'll see that we, we end up with um, something that's reasonably nice actually. Minus 6y equals 12. Rearrange that, we get y squared minus 6y equals, uh, sorry, plus 8 equals 0. Okay, factorise, and we get uh, minus 2 and y minus 4. So they're my two answers for y. So they're my two answers for y, so I get y equals 2 and 4. Uh, put them back into uh, this one, okay, and I get x equals uh, 2 and what was it, minus 1, I think, yeah, there we go. So there's our two answers. So when you see something like this, um, a, a non-linear and a linear, swap the linear into the non-linear. The non-linear is the one with y squared, I should add. Okay, and uh, and then get, that's how you get rid of one of the letters and, and solve, solve the quadratic. Uh, pretty standard sort of stuff. This one's not very nice, purely because you've got to do the rearranging at the start.